Hey guys, it's Renisa for this. I made a template of this music note, which is my favorite in the sense that I find it the prettiest, but I actually don't know what it's called, so if you know, let me know. But I made it big enough to just fit the size of my phone, but I guess this template fits most phone cases. My phone is pretty old, a 6S, I think is like a dinosaur in like the iPhone world, but it still works. Plus, in my opinion, in the older phones like mine, you have one tiny camera gap, so it's like easier to just display images or designs as to with the newer ones it's like a huge square that takes like half top part of like the phone case unless you're decorating your phone case in like a pattern where it's not like a single big design i don't know i find the placement odd but i understand that having all of those things give you better quality so it's necessary but to me that's a lot of like space in the phone case but yeah, i'm just going to be cutting this to get the parts of like the inside i'm just going to be using this like detail scissors these are just to trim like fake eyelashes or eyebrows making a hole and then just cutting that and I'm gonna be using a piece of like acetate sheet that I had from this other like music note that didn't work out. It was actually really annoying, by the way, because I spent the most time, energy, and just like mental capacity figuring out how I was gonna do that one to just have like not succeeded, which I'm gonna show you at the end why. But yeah, I'm gonna be grabbing a piece of that paper for this one. I'm gonna be taping this so it doesn't move. And then with my fine tip sharpie, I'm gonna trace the shape of this. Then again, cutting this with the same scissors outside and then with this other detailed but pointier scissors on the inside the reason i switched to this uh, scissors is because these are newer so these are pointier and just like sharper and since this is acetate sheet it's thicker than paper so you need something like pointier and sharper so doing the same thing poking a hole then just cutting the whole thing and then because i did use sharpie to cut this i'm gonna be cleaning the edges with some acetone and urban karmba now i'm gonna be using my gold acrylic paint my brush but i'm gonna be turning this upside down so what i'm gonna be painting is going to just reflect on like the front part if that makes sense so the paint is gonna be in the background or the back and because this is an acid sheet it's gonna be like looking smoother than if i just were to paint it on top of like a phone case sometimes i like to paint on top of my phone case but not for this one giving this a few coats this is gold acrylic paint i like the shade of this that's why i keep on using this but it's quite sheer so i just give it a few coats until it's like opaque and i cannot see through it anymore i'm gonna be taking another acid sheet tracing my phone case a clear one turning this again upside down tracing the shape of this and don't forget the camera gap then i'm gonna be cutting this with my regular scissors and using my detail scissors for the camera gap as well then i'm gonna be uh, working on the back of it which means the camera gap is on the right painting this with my black acrylic paint giving this two to three coats and then i'm gonna be turning them so this is the side that i'm gonna be actually looking at and so because i use acrylic paint it gets messy all over the place so i'm just gonna be cleaning that acrylic paint with some water and soap until it's like nice, shiny and smooth and doing the same thing for my music note then I'm going to be placing my music note on top of my black background place it wherever I want it to be, settle first just grab my uh, glue, my super glue and less is more with this glue you just need a tiny, tiny drop and then just glue it to avoid it moving, I'm just going to be placing my hand where I want it to be, folding the music note and that's how I'm going to be gluing this then I'll just place it like this on my phone case and this is what it looks like guys I really like it, I love this music note I love music music is a big part of me of like my life i find it really healing and just like therapy i also made this other one in my mind it looked better than what it looks like in real life because the edges are not as sharp and defined as i wanted them to be but i'm going to be um showing this technique or how i did this on an upcoming uh, christmas one but going back to this one i really hope you like that and you find it easier to follow if you did don't forget to let me know down below give this video a thumbs up and share this thanks so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye